Welcome everyone to Bibles and Barbell Strength and Conditioning Ministries. Welcome to our first actual session where today we're going to look at the king of all exercises, the bench press movement. We're going to go over how to perform the bench press movement. We're going to go over the proper function, what muscle groups are involved. We're going to have a, a guest here today with us that's going to demonstrate that for us while I go over the mechanics of the movement. We're going to talk about some variations of the movement. And then we're going to move on into our Bible study for today, which is in Luke chapter 12, verse 34. So if you have your Bibles ready, you can turn to there and put your bookmark in there, because that's what we're going to look at in the second half of our program today. Again, I want to thank everybody. This is our first full session. There will be different sessions coming each and every week, discussing various topics of weight training, endurance exercises, nutrition, health, and of course, the Bible. Thank you for joining us. We welcome you. We ask that you participate with us each and every week. Feel free to email us. Uh, free, feel free to comment on the, web, on the, the website, on YouTube. Uh, we take everything uh, that you say uh, very seriously. And we ask that you just tune in with us each and every week and share any questions or prayer requests you have as well. Now, like we do in all of our studies at Bibles and Barbells for the last several years, we open up in prayer. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the time that we can spend with you, Father, worshiping you in spirit and truth. We thank you for your great love for us. And Father, we just ask today that you bring your Holy Spirit here, that you watch over us, keep us healthy and strong and safe. And Father, all those that are tuning in to this video, we ask your blessings to be upon them. We ask that you stir their hearts, Father, for a stronger conviction to read and study your word to strengthen and nourish their bodies and to stay healthy and strong. And we pray all that in the mighty name of Jesus. It's in His name I pray. Amen. The test that we're using is a, a standard Olympic bench, bench uh, wide rails here. We have a standard 45-pound Olympic bar knurled for grip. And today, for demonstration purposes, we're only using uh, two 45-pound plates, one on each side which would make this a total of 135 pounds. Now, we're not concerned about how much weight we're doing today. We want to discuss the proper form and function of the bench press. And so let's get started. Our assistant here, Dan, is going to lay flat on the bench. He's going to take a slightly wider than shoulder grip. He's going to keep his feet flat on the ground. He's going to keep his buttocks flat on the bench, his back on the bench, his eyes looking up at his spotter. And I strongly suggest to the audience when you're training, if you can, to use a spotter. A spotter helps you in case you slip up, in case the weight is too heavy. There's someone there to help you pick the weight up and get it back on the rack for you. Always think safety first. And for you uh, people that have never trained before with weights, you don't have to start out lifting weights. You can start out doing push-ups and different other exercises that we're going to be talking about to show you some variations. You don't have to just jump right into the bench press. But since this is the very popular movement, lots of people say, hey, what do, you, what do you bench? You hear that all the time. Well, this is what we're doing today. This is the bench press. This is what football players are tested on and other sports players are tested on. Their ability to bench press weight and also repetitions. There's two different ways to test. So there's a strength portion and an endurance portion. Today we're going to show proper form. So what Dan's going to do, he's going to take a strong overhand grip. His weights are on. I'm the spotter. I'm going to check, make sure my weights are secure, make sure the bar is even. The spotter has a big job to do. The spotter's going to tell him if his feet are not planted right. Okay, squeeze the bar, Dan. Take the bar off the rack. Inhale. Lower the weight to his upper chest or middle chest here. And then exhale on the way up. You do not want to hold your breath when you perform this movement or any movement. You want to breathe. Okay, so Dan, I'm going to give him a lift off on three. One, two, three. Dan's going to take the weight down, inhale, and exhale on the way up. Take the weight down, inhale, exhale on the way up. And do that two more times. Spotter's going to come in, grab the bar, and rack it. That was a performance of the bench press movement. Very simple, but lots of people do it wrong. Now, as you can see, we're into our Bible study portion of the session. Picked out a scripture verse today from the book of Luke, the 
Gospel of Luke, okay, which is in the New Testament. It's one of the four Gospels. And we picked today a, a, a passage addressing our hearts. I figured because we were doing the bench press and the bar comes right down over to your chest, right above your heart, we should look at a short Bible passage that addresses our hearts. Okay? So the, the passage I'm reading is from Luke chapter 12, verse 34. It's from the NIV version of the Bible. You may have a different version, but the NIV version reads this way. And again, remember, Jesus is talking to his disciples during this parable, and during this uh, section of the, of the Gospel of Luke. And he ends this parable regarding uh, telling his disciples not to worry, that he feeds the birds of the air, the lilies of the field, not to worry and about everything, where your next meal is going to come from, what, you, what uh, your next, thi what next thing is going to happen to you. He tells his disciples, and he's instilling in their hearts and minds not to worry, that he is in control. And he ends saying, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Okay, so we're going to address the heart today. So, what you value most is what you treasure. Whatever dominates your world is what you treasure. Where you spend your time and your money is your treasure. Whatever dominates your conversation is where your treasure is. What others know you for is a good indication of what your treasure is. And we're going to come back in just a second and we're going to ask some questions and address this, this um, parable that Jesus speaks about. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And again, we're looking at where our hearts are. So where your heart is today. If you're unsure of where your treasure is, let's look at this. Examine where you spend your available time and money. Reflect on what is, what is it you most enjoy thinking about and discussing. Ask your friends to tell you what they think is most important to you. Ask your children to list the things most val valuable to you. It may surprise you to know what others consider to be your treasure. So this week, what we'd like you to do, and what we're going to do here at Bibles and Barbells, Strength and Conditioning Ministry, is we're going to look and see where our hearts are. What are we focusing on? What are we concentrating on? What is most important to us? Is it God's kingdom, God's plan, God's will for our lives? Or is it worldly things, worldly possessions, material things? Are we trying to work our way to heaven or are we trying to ask God who came down out of heaven to save us? Are we just going to tell, just ask Him with all our hearts this week to reach out and save us from ourselves and that we'll focus and concentrate on Him and His Word? So, dear friends, thank you for joining us this week. We're going to close in prayer. We look forward to next week's Bible study. We look forward to next week's exercise and endurance plan. May you have a blessed week, and let us close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for these many people that are watching, Father. We ask your, your hand to reach out to them, Father, that they may know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, Father. May they... Just have a pleasant week, Father. May they search their hearts like we looked at today in your passage from the Gospel of Luke and see where exactly where our treasure is, Father. Father, thank you for our assistance, our film producers today. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for this ministry and all the people that it's helped and served. Thank you for, for uh, empowering me, Father, to do this, giving me the, the fortitude to do this, Father. May we continue to do this ministry. May this ministry get many other volunteers and participants all across this great nation and this world of ours, Father. Father, thank you once again for this time. We thank you in the name of Jesus, our Savior. It's in his name we pray. Amen.